explain cache control header. The cache control header is a fundamental component of HTTP used to specify directives for caching mechanisms in both client uh, in both client requests and servers and server responses. By defining cache behaviors, these headers helps manage how and for how long networks responses should be cached. Let's talk about, let's have um, an in-depth look at the cache control header in its purpose and common directives. First, let's talk about the purpose of the cache control header. Let's delete everything and here starts. First, we will talk about the efficiency. So it helps reduce latency and network traffic, ensuring faster load times by, by reusing cached resources whenever appropriate. Number two, we will talk about the freshness. It controls the maximum age of a resource in the cache, ensuring that users receive the most current version of the resource without containing the server every time. Number three, oh no. Number three, privacy and security. So some directive controls control the storage of sensitive information, ensuring that data meant for one user is not served to another. Let's talk about common cache control directives. Okay. So let's make a breakdown of some of the most common used directives in the cache control header application to both requests made by clients respond and response sent by servers. So first we will start with, uh, let me make a list, great. We we'll start with the no store. And um, the no store indicates that any part of the request or response must not, uh, must not be stored in the cache. This is useful for sensitive information that should not be written to disk. We have no cache. This requires that the cached response be um, revalidated with the origin server before use. This doesn't prevent uh, storing the response in the cache, but ensures that it's fresh by requiring validation. Number three, we have the max age. This one specifies the maximum amount of time in seconds, of course, and the uh, maximum amount of time a resource is uh, considered the fresh. This is relative to the time of the request for requests and time of the response for responses. The next we have must revalidate. This one forces cache caches to revalidate a state resource with the server before use. This ensures that uh, users never see outdated content. We have public. This one marks authentic, um, uh, authenticated responses as cacheable by any uh, cache, even if they would normally be non-cacheable. We have private. This one indicates that the response in, uh, is intended for a single user and should not be stored by shared caches, such as proxy server. So let's talk about the request specific directives. Here we want to talk about the no transform. Um, this one in instructs um, caches not to um, alter the media type or content encoding of the response. This is important for applications that require data to be received exactly as it's sent. Uh, we have also only if cached. This one in instructs the cache to return response only if it's available in the cache. If it's not available, uh, a 504 gateway timeout error is returned instead of fetching a fresh one. 
we have um, a response specific directives. Um, we have the the S max age. This one in seconds. This is one is similar to the max uh, age, but it applies only to shared caches, uh, proxies, for example, and take um, takes uh, precedence over max age or expire expires header. Uh, let's make an example of this one. Um, I will make just a quick example for you guys to see. It will be something like that. Um, in this example, uh, the cache control header uh, specifies that the response can be stored by any cache and consider the resource fresh for um, um, 68,400 seconds, which is one day. Um, and this is how it works. Okay. So, um, in conclusion, the cache control header is a powerful tool for controlling cache policy in HCP transactions by careful by carefully setting cache control directives. Web developers can optimize the performance and reliability of web applications while managing data freshness and privacy uh, appropriately. So that's it for uh, for this video, and see you in the future.